In today's video, we are going to test out the FJX horse, the brand new SMG here in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, and show you guys why it is probably one of, if not the best SMGs to use in the entire game. So make sure you guys watch until the end of the video so you know what the best setup to use is on this gun. All right, let's go ahead and test out this FJX horse here in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Zombies and see if we can maybe find the new SMG meta. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna use the legendary tool, golden plate armor, all of our perks, and we're only gonna single pack a punch right now and then see how this gun does in the tier one zone. So let me go ahead and look up on the mini map, see if I can't find a contract nearby. All right, I see an outlast all the way up here. So let me go ahead and go pick up this outlast contract and I'll pick the video back up then. All right, starting up this P&D contract here. One thing that I am going to go ahead and mention is this gun actually has a ton of ammo. You can see that over in the ammo reserve, it has about 720 shots, which is honestly pretty good and one of the best that I've seen for SMGs. And then just running around whenever I was trying to get over to this contract, it has pretty good mobility. And that's whatever I noticed whenever I was using this gun in multiplayer as well. So we're going to go ahead and see how this gun does against regular zombies here. I mean, like I said, we're in the tier one. You expect it to do pretty good. It's taking them out with ease, and that's kind of exactly what I expected to see. One of the biggest tall tells is going to be how this thing does against regular zombies and the higher threat zone. Because this is an SMG at the end of the day. I don't expect it to do all that well against a big game bounty or any of the high value targets. But I could see this being pretty viable whenever you're trying to train up a big horde of zombies. And if it's good at taking out all these types of zombies, it could be a pretty viable weapon that you guys are going to want to use in your arsenal. So let's go ahead and finish up this contract here really quick, clear out all these guys, and then we'll see the reward we get. My guess is going to be we've got a green tool. Let's check. I knew it. We got, we got napalm burst. That's cool, though. I guess we'll take that. Get off me, zombie. So I already do have napalm burst. We'll see if there's anybody in the lobby that needs it and we can drop it off for them. So the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna go pick up a big game bounty here in tier one. Looks like this is the closest one to me. So we're gonna hop in our vehicle and I'll pick the video back up once we're at the high value target. All right, rolling up on the mangler here. Let's see if we can take him out with one clip. And we did it in about half a clip. I'm not going to lie, that was a lot quicker than I expected it to be. And it looks like we got Deadshot Daiquiri as well. Wow, we're getting a lot of schematics this game. See if there's anybody here at the end of the game that's going to want these. So, I'm not going to lie, this gun really impressed me right there. I did not think it would do that good against a high value target. So now I'm going to go ahead and double pack a punch this weapon, and then we're going to move on to the Tier 2 zone. So let me go ahead and go pick up this spore control contract and see how this weapon does against taking out a large group of zombies here in a higher threat level zone. All right, and we got a large little group of zombies and a disciple here. So let's go ahead and train them up one more time and let's see how easily we can take them out with this gun. So you can see right there, I mean, this gun is also just melting the zombies pretty easily here and we'll see how it does against a disciple. So, I mean, for an SMG, this gun is performing extremely well. I mean, even here against the Mangler, doesn't really stand much of a chance. And, I mean, this gun's just pretty good to use so far. Definitely is impressing me. One thing that I noticed when shooting the spores is how quick you can strafe with this gun while you're not aiming down sights. So, go check this out. So, whenever you're shooting and walking forward, you are moving so quick, and that's one of the best things that I noticed about it. So let's go ahead and finish out this four control contract. Get these zombies away from me really quick. And then see what we got. So, so we actually got napalm burst. We'll go ahead and use that now. And then next thing we're going to test is how it does against a high value target. So we'll go pick up this bounty and test this gun out there. All right, so we're rolling up on the disciple here. Let's go ahead and try to clear out some of these zombies that are in the way. And then he's just running away from me. And we'll see how this gun, never mind, we won't see how it does. Go ahead and break his little thing right there. And this is kind of what I was concerned about was in these scenarios how the gun would do. I mean, I guess if you get a clean shot off at him, he's going to just run away. It took probably about a clip, clip and a half, so even then it wasn't that bad. And just like that, we completed him. So even as an SMG, it's doing pretty good at taking out the HVTs. It was really good in Tier 1. I'd say it was about on par with some of the other guns in the Tier 2 zone. And then we'll see how it is in the Tier 3. 
So now we're just going to go ahead and triple pack and punch our gun. I do have a flawless crystal, but I think I'm going to go ahead and save that. Instead, I'm just going to go to the actual pack-a-punch machine here in Tier 3. We'll get this gun triple pack-a-punch, and then we will test it in the Tier 3 zone. All right, so we got a good little group of zombies here in the Tier 3 zone. Oh, never mind. We have a great group of zombies. I didn't see all those guys in the back over there. So let's go ahead and see how Wells Gun does at taking out these regular zombies here in Tier 3. So we got a few armored ones up here. I mean, they're getting kind of close to me, but I mean, this gun's doing having really no issue taking out all these zombies. Except for the fact that I'm about to go down, and that's not what we want. So obviously this is Tier 3, could get a little bit more hectic. And like I was saying, I think one of my favorite things about this gun is just how good the hip fire is on it. So I'll go ahead and take out this Mangler and Disciple. I mean, there, there's just a bunch of zombies on us right now. There's a lot going on. So let's go ahead and finish up this 4 control contract. Go ahead and get rid of some of these zombies that were here around us. See what we got. I mean, sure, why not? And get away from there so that we do not go down. So, I mean, we got we seen right there, and I guess right there gets one armored zombie we're able to see pretty well. And then we'll try to take out this group of zombies here just really quick. And we can just see that this is a pretty good SMG when it comes to taking out these regular zombies. I mean, it has really good mobility. Its damage is pretty good. It has a very large magazine and then a lot of ammo in the ammo reserve. So I think this is definitely going to be a viable option to use. And then the final test that we're going to do here is just see how it does against a big game bounty. So I'll go pick this one up and we will go ahead and try it out against a high value target in tier 3. So the first bounty contract I picked up was actually a Mega Abomination. And I honestly feel like that's not a good test because any gun can really take him out. You just got to shoot him whenever his eyes or mouth is open. So I always cancel that contract to see if I can find another HBT, and one has yet to appear. So in the event one doesn't appear, we're going to test it against this Disciple I have down here. So I'm going to go ahead and throw down this Monkey Bomb, and then fly down to... Oh, never mind, the Disciple's going up. We're going to go up to the Disciple, and we'll see how this gun does against just a regular special zombie here in this game. So here's the Disciple here. And then it absolutely destroyed him. So like I said, I know he was just a regular special zombie. The HPT is going to be a lot more powerful than he is. But that's still a pretty good sign seeing how good this gun did against that Disciple there. So I am going to go ahead and try and, I guess right here, we'll do another test against a Mimic here since he came up on us. So Mimic running up on us and did it with ease in less than one clip. So in my opinion, this gun is actually really good, especially at taking out some of these regular zombies and regular special zombies hopefully we can go ahead and test it against an hvt but we're just gonna have to wait and see if one spawns before this 11 minutes goes away so so i'll go ahead and wait just a little bit longer we'll see if an hvt contract does end up appearing if not we did get a pretty good test there against some of the special zombies here in the game and we've seen that it does pretty good and it probably is a really viable gun that you guys are going to want to try out so a big game bounty never did appear, but that's alright. We were able to test this gun against special zombies in tier 3 and seeing that it did pretty good against the regular special zombies and also did really good against regular zombies. My final thoughts on this weapon is that it is an extremely good SMG. Definitely one of the best, if not the current best in the game at the moment. Has a very good fire rate, very good recoil control, mobility is amazing, and its damage output is definitely on par with some of the other SMGs. So I really think you guys are going to want to try this out, and I'm going to go ahead and show you what the setup I was using on it is now. So this is the class setup you see me use on the FJX. So for the laser, I was using this Kimura RYL33 laser sight. This really helped with the mobility, your sprint to fire speed, tack stance speed, and probably why this gun was doing so good with hip firing and moving. For the barrel, I was using the SYN9 long barrel to really help with the damage output of the weapon. Same thing with the high grain rounds. I feel like they are the best ammunition to use in zombie just to help with your damage output. For the magazine, I was using the 48 round mag. And then finally, for the rear grip, I was using the POC S TAC grip to help again with that sprint to fire speed, really just optimizing the mobility you can get out of this weapon. But yeah, guys, that is going to do it for the video. If you do find this video useful or entertaining, let me know by dropping a like leaving a comment down below telling me what your current favorite SMG is, and hitting that subscribe button so that you never miss another upload. And with that, I'll catch you guys all in the next one.